Welcome to the Rarities for Power of the Elements. Don't make the 30% of you guys have not smashed the 11 crap out of that subscribe button. Smash this wing, climb up the 100k letter here. Our first secret out of the block here is Goatee of the Deep Beyond. Now, we know that this is going to be the sneak peek promo, which will also come in a dual sided ultra rare as well. Video add to your collection, but Goatee of the Deep, it's an interesting one plus fish monsters plus one plus non tuner monsters. All right, the original deck this becomes 500 times the number of your banished opponent's monsters. And then if this card become, I'm just kidding, it's uh, 500 times the number of banished monsters, things will get really big. And if this card is synchro summoned during your opponent's turn, you can banish all cards on the field. And then during the standby phase of the next turn after this card was banished from the monster zone, you can special summon it from the banished. So there's a lot to unpack with this, but we have a lot of hope for the goatee archetype here. Next up was Instant Contact. We got the chance to see the new Instant Fusion card for heroes step up out of the duel and show us that this card will be acting as a secret in collection. Now, I know a lot of people like severely disappointed for this, but hear me out for a second. You get a little bit wider range of things with this than you would say the other normal um, spell cards and I mean level sevens are something that you have access to now with this you just have to remember um, you're not going to get the effects of what you bring out so do not underestimate this card and chalk this up as bulk we also know that spirit of neos is going to be an ultra I'm not a huge fan of having seen this card end up in an ultra rare slot I understand that a lot of players are you know yay hero stuff I'm happy to see the instant contact did cross that bell but okay I'll give Spirit of Neos a shot as an altar, I guess. This could have been the Shining Flare Wingman uh, remake, but we dodged that. Favor Contact also ended up being another ultra rare here. I guess this is another win for heroes. Hero players do deserve some nicer looking rarities within the set as well. So I'm not going to be too mad at that, but outside of that, the rest of like the hero stuff that we've seen so far is going to fill out into your lower rarity slots, which once again, I think is fine and acceptable at this point in time. So overall, you like to see it, all right? Good job on that, Konami. You really got my attention there. Next up was Sprite Blue. Oh, baby. Sprite dodged some of the biggest biggest secret rare slots out of the set. And I'm actually massively shocked about that. Like Konami did the community a huge favor here and said, you know what? We're probably going to clean this deck up on a much quicker ban list than we would with a lot of other stuff. And I appreciate the effort in this, honestly. Um, considering the fact that you might be able to pick up a Sprite core for sub $300, um, we did the math on pre-sale right now. If you were to pick it up on pre-sale and build things circulate a little bit more, you're probably going to be paying $430-ish, $420. I'd be a little bit more patient on this. I don't foresee gigantic, or ex I don't foresee blues here surpassing, you know, the crazier price points. Maybe $50 a piece? Maybe. But, like, I feel like at that point in time, that's just a little bit more absurd. We also know that Starter ended up being an ultra. We all expected Starter to take up that secret rare slot. Trust me, all right? Like, you're not the only one that was looking at Starter going, yep, that's a secret rare. Well, we dodged the bullet here. Future OTS ulti? Probably, in my personal opinion. Now, Starter is a three of. Uh, Sprite Blue is a three of. Our next card here ends up being a two of. You don't have to dedicate a lot of resources to seeing larger numbers of this, which once again, I think Konami did us a favor with this, and they looked at the cards that were three ofs and went, all right, we can dedicate one slot to this. Sprite, Gigantic here, ending up being an ultra. I'm okay with another, once again, case of future OTS ulti. I mean, who knows here? And then we also have over here Yes, my personally my other big favorite in this set is the Sprite Elf. Honestly, this is going to be the reason why Helky Fibrax will not stick around for a much longer list if you want my personal opinion. Just because of the fact that uh, you step into this, you do the revival shenanigans. It's uh, 
it's pretty busted in my opinion man you, you can say what you will about you know sprite overall but I really do think that this card is going to get Hulk, you know, axed out of the game. Now as we look into the little bit more expensive stuff here. Primeval Planet Pervolier. Okay. <laughs> I always love messing up one or two card names here. The, this is the searcher for tier elements that gives a attack boost. All right. For tier elements, monsters you control, and fusion monsters, by the way, that's important. And it gives an interruption when a card or tier elements is shuffled back into the deck. Oh boy. An interruptible field spell that searches, that gives an attack boost. Good job, Konami. I see that you've learned from your previous mistakes here about making a little bit uh, better choices in terms of things. This card is really, really solid. I'm fine with this being a secret because it's going to look really, really nice. Next up here is Tier Elements Kaleido Heart. Now, if you've noticed something about some of the trends in this set in terms of secret rares, there will be one secret rare that will be a 3 for the archetype. And if they choose to pull out something else from the archetype, it's not going to quite be as excessive. Now, Kaleido Heart for a majority of the list, only play this as a one-off. Uh, you can go down the path of trying to play two or three, but I think you're just doing yourself a disservice at that point in time. This is perfectly fine as a secret rare. Um, it looks nice. You're not going to have to spend a lot of money. You got to remember, aesthetics are very important to the Yu-Gi-Oh! player, so I'm once again happy with this. Uh, Kitagalos here as an ultra rare. I feel like this was a missed opportunity to be a secret rare. Future OTS ulti? Future OTS ulti. I'm saying that about a lot of things here, man, but like, we dodged a lot of things. Maybe Kitagalos will be a starlight, and we'll all be happy about that. That's where Konami can kind of make up a lot of the, the lost time and space here for this. And then last but not least here, we saw Reno Heart here. Creep on out out into the open as an ultra rare in terms of searchability. Um, Reno is definitely going to be the heart and soul of the deck next to the field spell. Um, honestly, yeah, Reno's dump ability, the ability to revive. This card is solidly the nuts in the deck. Like, it really, really is. Now, coming off of the last part that we have now, we have the biggest good stuff today which were your free agents here and uh, you know a Sura king being a uh seeker rare come on guys what are you doing here all right like this didn't need to be a secret i i guess there's always got to be one meh secret but okay not too happy about that ultimate slayer Mmm, beautiful. I wish it would have stayed Artemis Slayer, but you know what? I'm fine with this, man. Um, just the ability. This card is very, very good. This will be one of... If people really underestimate the value of this card, oh my gosh. I can't wait to pick these up. You play this with the Evil Twin package, so you get the additional dump through the uh, Evil Twin Kishi La Kill package so do give this a nice little shot it uh it works out relatively nicely we also got draco utopian aura very interesting name for this but this is basically a solemn strike that gives you the aban the ability to banish a monster and the special from that monster was destroyed back to your field but its effects are negated but it's on a counter trap card um the ocg didn't see a lot of application with this but to be honest with you the card is also really, really good. It's not going to be expensive, I don't think. Then we got Kuri Kara, Divine Karante. So this is Reverse Nibiru. All right, so it must be special summoned from hand by tributing all face of monsters on the field that activated their effects during this turn. All right, you gain 500 attack for each tribute. And during your end phase, you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, special summoned it to your field. Basically, you just everything that triggers their effect, you go ahead and tribute it on off. The card is busted. And then we our world exclusive here, Garura, Wings of the Resonant Life. Two monsters with the same type and attribute. Look, they finally fixed Mud Dragon. This card's going to be really, really nice. Thank you, Super Poly. I'm really glad that you decided that you wanted to just add this into the fray here. And if it's sent to the graveyard, you get a draw card. Okay. Stats are uh, 15, 24. It's acceptable. 
I'll take it. So those are your rarities so far. What do you guys think? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.